Welcome to PWCI this week as I am making my way to the ring uh, to induct a new member of the Central Illinois Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame. We say goodbye to one of our 2010 inductees to the Hall of Fame, Big Papa John Carell, who passed away after a lengthy illness, passed away uh, last Wednesday night, Thursday morning. Uh, we'll be doing a tribute show in a few weeks. I record most of this beforehand, but I wanted to get this in before I publish the episode, so here we go. Hall of Fame. 
And to then, to do that, you will also be inducting Steve K into the icons of the Elmwood Valley. We'll be the man who co-hosted Wrestling Authority Radio for many years on blogtalkradio.com. Often maligned, some of it deserved, some not, and yes, I don't agree with him on everything, but he tells it like it is. The Rage, Sadistic, Chuck,
This next one is a favorite of mine. So show respect when he comes out. Forget. Introducing first from your dad's DMs. The Dad Bob Joey Baby. Well, this is the Mac Conservative Crime Fire with a light welcome to the program as we are at the first time at Nelson Family Wrestling way up in Northern Illinois. It's rare that I go to a Chicago area show, but I was summoned up here to do the Hall of Fame induction of the Dean referee Steve Kane, and he is the very first referee to be inducted into the Central Illinois Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame. Been a bit of an oversight that uh, we didn't have any refs in the uh, Hall of Fame. Steve Kane, his long history of officiating in the uh, state of Illinois. Well, before the modern day Central Illinois wrestling scene came about, Steve Kane, a welcome addition, first uh, member of the 2022 class for the Central Illinois Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame. And in the ring first. Well, our first look at Joey Mayberry, who uh, wrestles up in the Chicago area. Chicago Style Wrestling, Northland Pro Wrestling, Lucha Libre Total. He calls himself the dad bod. Yeah, I think uh, Danny Adams would have uh, something to say about that. Actually, that have been Sean Orleans. Dams is just the dad. Anyway. Cody James, also from the three promotions I just mentioned, including uh, Damage Incorporated up to the Rockford area. This is our first look at Cody James at, in the ring. Nelson Family Wrestling is an offshoot of Northland. Pro Wrestling, and by the way, Northland Pro Wrestling was an offshoot or of uh, Chicago Style Wrestling. In fact, it was actually initially called Chicago Style Wrestling Northland, but uh, it spun it off into its own uh, entity. And by the way, this is one of these extremely rare times where I go to a wrestling show in the state of Illinois and not know a single person in the lineup. Real unusual. And here we go with a one-on-one -on -one contest. Close out this edition of PWCI this week. Now this weekend there's multiple shows happening. And yes, I took uh, Memorial Day weekend off as uh, the Grand Wrestling Spectacle is in the books. Well, yeah, but well, you never reached the pole position, buddy. Never reached the pole position. And now, Cody James. I'm going to shut this clown up, pounding him away in the corner. He probably sat on the pole for way too long before he fell in the fell in the drink. Hold on, you got my jaw working, and that's my money maker, buddy. Okay. We need any more jaws flapping. Anyway, yeah, we don't need more jaws flapping. If you didn't hear what I said under my breath. I had to cut out about three minutes of uh, nonsense 
reflex spewed by the ring announcer. Filibustering <laughs> over rival schools and all bunch of stuff that didn't care to hear. And by the way, Mike Vest really got under my skin and provided the inspiration for my uh, editorial rant a few weeks ago about bad guy ring announcers. Pretty much the epitome of why you should not have them, should not hire them, should not, should instruct them not to act in that fashion because uh, they really harm the wrestling event they announce for. Look at this goofball! Joy Mayberry grabs the headlock of Cody James. So the shows this weekend, Micromania Tour in Belleville, Illinois. That's a Midget Wrestling coming back to St. Louis area as Mayberry bails to the outside and well, the guy could uh, use some uh, should uh, use Andy Griffith as a role model, really. Next, next step on the top rope and Cody James being pulled to the outside. Oh, shot to the head from Mayberry. Iron Spirit Pro will be doing a post-game wrestling event of three matches, a mini show after uh, a normal Cornhuskers game. So that'll be an outdoor show on Friday, June the 3rd as Mayberry being chopped on the chair. American Championship Wrestling in DeSoto, Missouri on the 4th. Pro Wrestling Epic in Alton, Illinois on the 4th. New Way Pro in Hiram, Indiana. That's a border town. 3 p.m. start time. That's part of the Hiram uh, Bluff. Chattakawa Festival. The fans are uh, chopping Joey Mayberry and I guess uh, now the high school students are just not wanting to uh, chop this guy here at uh, Marengo High School. That's where this event happened. It was a fun... Ooh! Into the post! This fundraiser for Marengo, uh, one of their sports teams. Of course, the big one is World Wrestling Entertainment at the State Farm Arena. The Saturday night's main event makes its return and, oh, dropped hold of the chair. That event, I think, is going to be televised, but which channel, or if it's just a, I guess, NBC Peacock exclusive, I don't know. And these two guys are going into the stairs, climbing up into the bleachers. And your referee is Sean David Hubbard. They didn't have a ref. He was uh, here to, uh, I guess, manage somebody, but uh, the man he wanted to manage uh, was ill, couldn't make it. They needed a referee, so they uh, had uh, Sean David Hubbard officiate the contest tonight, and oh my God. And Matt Perry dancing like an idiot and pays for it. They're way up there. I mean, I didn't. Running up there with a the camera is just kind of tricky business. There's uh, too much potential to trip and stumble. And Cody James. Tries to throw Mayberry down the stairs and catches himself a little bit, but still tumbles down somewhat. Chop to the back. Do want to note, breaking news last week, Dreamwave Wrestling is coming back this August. That was announced last Tuesday. As Mayberry gets pushed back in the ring. 
Also, there is a petition to get Steve Mongo McMichael inducted into the NFL Pro Football Hall of Fame as he is not long for this world. He has Lou Gehrig's disease and uh, trying to get him inducted into the Hall of Fame before he passes away. And Mongo, the former WCW United States Champion, just cannot move or speak anymore. I don't think he has very much time left, sadly. As Cody James, what is he doing? Oh! Mayberry with a kick between the uprights and Mayberry stands on the throat of Cody James as Sean Hubbard counting and I do want to note Sean Hubbard has only refereed 13 matches in his entire lifetime. So this is the first time he's refed in a very long time. Back then, Betty's glad that uh, he was able to uh, be part of this show to the extent that he was. One. One, two, three. Uno, no strength. Uno, do what? What do you say? He will be uh, making an appearance on June the 13th. He will be managing his trainer, Sin, an event somewhere in the Chicago area. I'll uh, probably have a little bit more detail next week. And Mayberry. Like head scissors. And Mayberry goes for the cover. Two. Only a two. It's actually June the 13th. He will uh, imagine sin. Sleeper hold by Mayberry. No. I said uh, more details next week. We'll be uh, having more from Nelson Family Wrestling next week here on the program. A couple more matches. That we're going to show everything because it's one of these rare times that I get to showcase new talent. Referee. Checking the arm. By the way, if anybody asks, where's his ref shirt? He didn't have a ref shirt. Nobody had one. I suggested he wear uh, one of the company shirts as a substitute. Instead of just mere street clothes. And it will work for this particular event that is a little bit more low key for a Sunday afternoon and a fundraiser as Mayberry. Oh! Form of a TDT using that leg to drive him down face first. I don't know what he calls it, but. Good grief. Mayberry has issues. Down goes Mayberry. James with the stutter. Referee counting. Apparently somebody is uh, not well versed with ringing a bell. They did not have a timekeeper. They had uh, somebody on the school personnel with the bell and time there to uh, kind of keep things in line a little bit, keep the flow going. Besides the official here, Spinebuster by James, 
And a kick out of two. Mayberry not staying down. Hey, Barry. Crippler crossface now. I do want to mention, Greg the spectacle. We have a couple of title changes. Harley is regained the women's title from Raven Black. Well, it took a couple of changes around for the title to get back to Harley. Derek Moss and IJC Sweet won a cage match against Casey Jackson and Tom Arson to win the tag titles. And Spencer Powers has been challenged by the former Zack Ryder known as, now known as Matt Cardona, spinebuster by Cody James. So Matt Cardona coming to Springfield on September the 10th to wrestle Spencer Powers. Oh! Flying stutter! Gets the three count. Cody James wins it. Flying stunner off, or RKO, or diamond cutter off the, off the ropes. And Cody James, first look at him. Chicago wrestler, you know, maybe, maybe we'll see more of him. Either one of these two. Uh, we're gonna bring him down state first. 11 minutes, 50 seconds. Cody James victorious. And now, James gonna send Mayberry back to, I guess, Mayberry. The real Mayberry. Anyway, that will do it for this edition of PWCI this week. Be sure to lo support your local independent wrestling promotion. We'll be back at Marengo, Illinois for more Melson Family Wrestling next week. Good night, everybody. I was going to catch you, but I missed you by that much.